All right, hey Virgo, you guys, I am doing a read. It's not you, so we're gonna do a check in on that old excuse um, situation. So if you guys are new here, welcome. I do hope that you subscribe if you like my energy. And if the intro energy doesn't work, doesn't resonate with you guys, check your moon rising or Venus placements. All right, so let's just go ahead and get your energy pulled, your current energy. Ooh, are you guys spying? You guys spying. All right. We got the Page of Swords coming through. I feel like this right here, the fact that this card comes through all wanky, um, I just, it's like, you know what, the person I was dealing with is all talk and no action. Um, you got the Page of Wands also showing up all wanky. And I just kind of feel like that is somebody, again, who is just, they don't know what they want. Um, and I feel like their energy may be seeping into you a little bit too much. The reason I'm saying that is because you also got the Tower card showing up. All right, so I feel like for whoever is here, what your recent experience has been is a disconnection, but I feel it's like, I just don't feel like you're believing what you were told or what excuse you were given um, as far as um, the person that you were dealing with, right? Um, you're not having fun right now, you know, but I, I feel like this is a, a lot more about how you're feeling towards the person, towards the, the situation, okay? Um, the Page of Swords also represents a spy card, so obviously you're you're trying to see whether it's through tarot, whether it's through uh, social media um, or mutual friends, what this person is up to, what's really going on. I feel like you guys are kind of being an investigator at this point. I really want to know what's going on with this person because I'm just not uh, uh, feeling settled with what it is that they told me, right? Um, so again, we're doing an excuse read. What you know, it's not you, it's me. How do you currently feel about this person? How are you currently feeling about this person? All right. So we got the emperor in reverse coming through. That's distorted masculine energy. Um, the queen of wands showing up in reverse. So what I'm going to say, look, distorted masculine energy coming through. I feel like, you know what? You guys actually may have felt that this person was a soulmate or they somehow are linked to a spiritual dynamic in your life or have some sort of a spiritual influence in your life. Okay. Um, the fact that these cards look at the queen, the magician, the emperor all showing up in reverse as far as how you feel about this person. Um, maybe th that they're a player, they're playing games, they're manipulating, they've manipulated, manipulated you, right? They are operating, um, you know, uh, they're operating in the reverse energy that you had once, um, um, seen them in. Okay. We have the 10 of wands also showing up. So it could be too, that this person was pretty relentless in getting you in a position that they wanted you to be in, got what they wanted, and then boom, you know, bounced or, or I'm not going to say ghosted or anything like that, but I just feel like potentially they could have, they could have been very determined to get what, what it is they thought that they wanted from you. And then, you know, I, I just see it like distorted. It's almost like you're, you're saying this person doesn't know how to treat men or women, you know, um, it's almost like they don't, they don't see any worth and value in others and they don't see it in themselves. And I almost feel like you guys could actually be dealing with somebody who you feel is a player, a liar, or a user or all three of them. Right. So let's just see, um, who this person is. What is their energy? What are they coming through in? All right. So we have the nine of swords coming through. I haven't really been doing signs on these, but um, this right here is Gemini. You got strong Gemini energy coming through there. Look at that. I'm a fool. Look at in the Knight of wands comes through. That is player energy right here. I don't associate the Knight of wands. Um, you know, if this card was to drop solo by itself, I, I wouldn't say that, but because the full card comes in reverse, that is like somebody who's acting a fool. Okay. This is somebody, you got the nine of swords also showing up. That's somebody who's full of stress, worry, anxiety, fear, desperation, um, you know, and it could just be that this person has a lot of bottled up, uh, negative experiences that they have, uh, not learned how to transmute. Right. Um, and, and if it's not what they've been in the past, it could just be that their current energy and feelings towards this connection has done nothing but bring them, um, to face this person in the mirror and say, what the heck is wrong with you? Right. That's just kind of what I'm feeling from this energy that they're putting off here. So let's just see what they told you. When it comes to disconnecting, you got uh, Gemini energy, you got Leo energy showing up right here. But let's see what they showed you, what they told you um, as far as not being able to move forward, right? We got the three of wands coming through. So if you guys are dealing with anybody at a distance, it could be that distance is involved or a part of what they said as to why 
we cannot grow and make this connection work. Okay, so distance, travel, money, finances, uh, relocation, all of that could be at play. So we can't do A, B, and C because of this. It could be, too, that somebody was traveling uh, on vacation. You know, the obstacles are just too far. Uh, the, uh, the, the obstacles between us, um, it's, it's, it could be too far to bridge the gap. Okay, and that's not going to be for everyone, obviously. We also have the Ace of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles coming through in reverse. So as far as what this person's excuse was, is I'm just not ready. I'm not ready. It wouldn't be fair to you, right? It wouldn't be fair. Um, you know, I'm, I am I can't uh, uh, give to a relationship right now. I can't give to a connection right now. I'm not ready. Um, a lot of financial um, issues also could be showing up uh, right here in this energy in such a way that, you know, I'm not financially set. I've, I've had a lot of setbacks um, and I got to be an, at this certain level right before I can give myself to somebody like that, before I could put myself in a connection or a relationship like that. So I'm seeing finances and distance coming through very, very heavily as far as their excuse as to why they can't uh, pursue a right commitment with you. Um, or deepen or strengthen the connection. So let's just see um, how this person, I want to see how this person sees you, how they, how they see you, how they see your life. How does this person see you? I like the Knight of Swords showing up, um, coming through in the upright just shows me that uh, they, they look at you as somebody who's very ambitious, right? Very ambitious. Lots of swords energy coming through. Okay, so look at this. We have the King of Pentacles in reverse. And as I say it, as I am talking about this, imbalance when it comes to financial look at this okay it's almost like and i know this is how they see you how they're viewing you but it's almost like you got the king and queen coming through the queen is in the upright the knight of swords is in the upright they're the same suit it's almost like this person sees that there could be somebody that's better for you a better option okay um especially if there's an age difference i'm gonna say that i don't feel like age is the actual reasoning but i'm going to say this the fact that the king of pentacles shows up in reverse shows an unmatched energy towards the king, the queen of swords in the upright because these are actually two highly highly successful business oriented cards when it comes to money finances stability and business okay i feel like what this person does is they see you as a success you could own your own business and they don't own their own business they once had a lot of money and then the something crashed and it burned all right. I feel like they see you as a success story. And even if you don't know anything about this person's finances, I'm going to say this in their energy. I feel what is hidden is that they are not uh, on the same wavelength or level as you. Even if you're like, that doesn't matter to me. It doesn't matter. We can't change somebody's mind. We can't change their mind. I almost feel like this person is looking at your energy saying you're too good for me. So what were their intentions with you? What were their intentions with you? All right. They don't know what they want. <clears throat> I don't feel like love is on the, the table right now with the Ace of Cups. Look at that. <laughs> I'm going to say this. I got to put her back in reverse because I feel like something bigger is here. You got the High Priest card coming with the Two of Swords. I don't know what I want, right? And there could be um, also what we're going to pull is to see what's really going on with this person. There could be some um, secrets that they're not ready to tell you, um, that they're not ready to address with you, okay? So I do feel like something is hidden. And if it's not a secret person, what I'm going to say is there's going to be a secret as to why I'm not ready to put myself out there like that. All right, we have the Queen of Cups also showing up right here. So as far as their intentions, like I feel like it's like no, I didn't mean no ill will, but I'm not ready to connect with um, anybody in that loving that loving dynamic. I'm not ready to move forward in that way yet, okay? Um, and, and with the High Priestess, I do feel like there is something hidden, which we're going to pull in just a second. I want to pull first to see how it is they currently feel about you. So how are they currently feeling about you? Oh, look at that. Uh, look at that. You got the seven of pentacles. I, I want to heal. Whatever has transpired, I'm going to say this. I do feel like they want to heal with you guys, but they're very, very stuck on how to do that. All right. You also got the two of wands showing up right there. That's some deep energy, um, but it's almost like you're building an empire. You have the potential or you got the ambition to build things that, uh, um, it, that it's almost like you have this, this, you have this energy about you. I, I just feel like it doesn't compare to most, but I also feel like, you know, um, God, I, I feel like this person is very stuck. They don't know. I, it's like, I, I can't move, I can't move on, but I can't move forward with you, but I can't move on. All right. I do feel like they want to heal this wounded warrior aspect, but it's, I almost feel like what's happening here is that they're picking up a lot more of that, that wounded nature. 
it's almost like they're hiding. Like I, I know I, I need to come forward, but I'm very stuck right now and I don't know how to do that. And I don't know how to heal with you. Okay. Um, a lot of changes start to happen though. When we, when we go into that disconnection, right? So, um, as far as, as how they feel about you, I do feel like they want to return, but it's like, I, I have to get unstuck first and then wrap my head around trying to get, trying to get back to you. Right. I hope that makes sense. So let's just see what's really happening in this person's life. What's hidden? What do you need to know? All right. So we got soulmates coming through soul connection, partnership agreement, and soul contract. So we start talking about, uh, we start talking about, um, um, the reasons behind, right. What's really going on. Um, okay. So obviously I'm going to say this too. It doesn't matter if you're a man or a woman because tarot does not recognize sex. But when you got the, the masculine energy, um, the masculine energy is, it's typical for them to run, um, to run and the feminine energy to be that chaser. So, um, as far as, as soulmates coming through, I like it because it just shows that, um, there is a very, very deep connection. There is a very possible deep bond that's coming back in the future. Okay. But somebody definitely it's. It, it, look, I'm going to say this when it, when it comes to money and, and this person sees you as ambitious, as a leader, as somebody who's very, very oriented with life, um, and your energy, it, it it's potentially scares them, especially if you got everything going on for you and they don't. All right. But there's a instantaneous deep connection, a really deep soul bond with you guys. Um, it, it, so it would, it sucks that people have that mentality and they think like that. Okay. It does. So let's just see what's happening in the next 30 days. Are they coming back? Are they coming back? Look at that. I like judgment. Look, they are going to come back. You got the hermit card. I got to go. I got to go within. I got to do some, some deep thinking. I got, I got, you know, I got, I got to think about this, how I'm going to make my, my way back to Virgo. All right. But judgment card does come through and it says I'm going to change, grow, rebuilding, releasing the past. And we also got this 10 of pentacles. So if you guys were like, it doesn't matter what you had, what you have, what you don't have. Um, I feel like you've already put that vibe out there in such a way that this person will, they're going to wake up and they're going to recognize that. Okay. So where they've been conflicted, where they've shown feelings of, I don't know how to get, I don't know how to make my way back to you. Not yet. They are, it's like, this is going to be released. I'm going to lose a good thing if I don't put my stuff aside and, and, and come and get you. Okay. That's how I see this person returning. All right. It is a 30 day read and I do see that return. So you guys hang in there. Um, especially if you do feel that soulmate factor from this person, I want to get a couple of messages for you guys. Oh yeah. I am not available. It is time to heal. It is time for me to heal. Look, that's what, that's what's happening with this person. I'm not, a, is this like stepping stones? I am not available. It's time for me to heal. And I feel you, even though we're apart. All right. But in 30 days, you guys have a good mindset and the tables are going to turn in your favor. If you can believe it, if you can hold a vision for it, you're meant to see it come to fruition. Initials coming through for this one. We got G U R Z and R W leaving it there. Virgo, take care.